Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the latest video on the Scan Tool Network. You join us in a 2017 Ford Focus and we're going to do a demonstration of the Think Tool Mini Tool. It's, uh, we've got the check engine light and airbag light and some ABS lights on this Ford Focus here. Um, this is a really well built tool actually. It's a Bluetooth tool so you can see there's like a hole in the bottom there where the dongle normally sits. We've got that plugged into the diagnostic port which is right down there in this vehicle. Um, and it's a touch screen unit, as I say, a Bluetooth and it's got like um, power cables, a USB slots, etc. But it's very sort of um, user friendly, I would say, and it's got like a, a lot of functionality and a lot of system coverage as well, which I'll show you right now. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to, oh, well, first of all, if you are interested in buying this tool, I'd make sure you use the links in the description below this video because there are fakes, there are clones on the market and they can damage your vehicle. So it's best to stick with the genuine products and you'll find those by clicking the links in the description below the video. So first of all, we're going to click into Diagnose and we're going to find our manufacturer. Now, one thing I've noticed about this tool is that it is very touch sensitive, the screen. So if you accidentally press on something, then you, you've got to kind of go through the whole process and come out of it. So the way I've found to work this best is to sort of keep your finger on it and scroll up like that as opposed to just like put my finger on it and coming off straight away because it thinks you're trying to select that particular option. Um, but we're looking for Euro Ford, which is right there. And it connects to the Bluetooth dongle, which I've just heard like a little beeping, which means it's connected. And then what we can do is you can, man you can either manually select your vehicle or you can automatically do a search. So I'm going to click on the automatic search. And this is just going to search through and find the vehicle. And it's found it straight away there. And then it's going to have a look for the systems which we can connect with and diagnose. And that's going to give us a list of them. So we go to system selection. Now these are the systems we can successfully diagnose with. First of all, we go to the powertrain control module, which is the engine system. That's going to give us a unique fault code and a description of the fault, or it should in any case. Sometimes just takes a few seconds to connect there. So we'll go to read fault code, retrieve DTCs. We have found that depend varying like different tool to tool, sometimes it happens really quickly or sometimes it can take a little while. Um, but we found a problem with the, uh, the ignition coil B which has now been corrected. Uh, so what we need to do is just click on the clear DTCs option here and it should get rid of this check engine light right here. So clear DTCs, keep an eye on the check engine light and that has gone. So that is all very straightforward. Now there are no faults in that section. Now we can go back to our main list of systems and we'll find the airbag system, which might be down as like restraint control. restraint control module this one here so we'll do the same again read fault code and this time it's giving us a unique fault code and an airbag description if you're not sure what the fault code is or the, you're not sure what the description really means uh, my advice would be to put this information into a Google search engine because if you're having this fault somebody else will be having this fault as well and uh, the answer will always be on Google. So uh, click on clear DTCs. And when I do this, keep an eye on the airbag light. There we go, airbag light is gone. Let's probably do a quick refresh. And now it's telling us there is no DTC, which is a diagnostic trouble code. And then we go back to the main system, main list again, and we go to the ABS system. We've set this up a little bit differently though, because all we've done here is we've unplugged an ABS sensor but we haven't plugged it back in. So I'm gonna show you the fault code. And then I'm gonna show you what happens when you try and erase a fault code and warning light when the fault hasn't actually been fixed. So it's found that we've uh, unplugged the rear right wheel speed sensor, which is the ABS sensor, which is fine. And what we'll do is click on clear DTCs, click yes. 
it's telling us clear fault memory completed but the warning lights are still there. So that basically means that the tool has done all it can to try and reset the warning lights but the ECU, the, AB, the ABS ECU is saying hang on a second, we're not happy, I'm not happy that this fault has been cleared or fixed correctly so I'm going to keep the warning lights on and I'm going to keep the fault codes in the memory bank. Let's just double check to make sure that they are still there after it communicates. There we go, the two faults are still there. So that's an example of what will happen when you try to clear a fault and it doesn't actually, uh, you haven't actually fixed it. But it's, it's the, um, the ThinkPad Mini, it's a really good tool actually. Um, but I will pop a link to this in the description below this video. And uh, remember there are fakes, there are clones out there, so it's really in your best interest to, because you can damage your vehicle with the fakes and the clones. I've seen it happen myself. So it's best to just completely stay away from them. That's just a warning buzzer to remind you to remove the dongle from the diagnostic board. Now you go back to the main menu here. Um, you've got other service menus as well. So it allows you to do certain functions on the vehicle. But you can have a look at that uh, in greater detail on the listing. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.